Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now as some of you know when we reach 3000 subscribers we're gonna have a giveaway but we're also going to have a very very cool card trick and for that card trick you have to know the Elmsley count. So that is what I'm going to show you today and this is what it looks like. Now we have four cards just like this but in reality I've actually hidden one card, the Ace of Spades here. So again it can look like this. Four cards, but the Ace of Spades is hidden, just like that. Actually, it can also be used with only three cards, like this, to show that we have four cards, when in reality, of course, we only have three. Or we can use it with six cards, just like this, but still show that we only have four cards, just like so. And all face down, of course, when in reality, we are hiding three face-up cards. So we're going to do some tricks in the future with the Elmsley count so you can see what it's used for. But I can tell you right now that it's a very useful technique that is used in so, so, so many different packet tricks. It was created by Alex Elmsley. He created it and named it the Ghost Count, but it goes under the Elmsley count nowadays. So let's get into how it's done. Okay, so the most common way of using the Elmsley count is, is hiding the third card from the top, just like this. But in reality, it can be many cards. Every card in between this last card and, you know, the second card is going to be hidden. But for explanation purposes, let's just use one card right here at the third position, face up. So follow along at home, just like this. So I'm gonna show you the broad strokes of this first, and then we're gonna go into the different details, okay? So this is what happens. We're, first of all, we're going to peel off one card like this. And what's going to happen next is we're going to push off, with a double push off, two cards, just like this, and take that into our left hand. As we leave this card that we just peeled off, underneath catching it basically with the two fingers underneath at the same time as we peel off that double just like that and now we have two cards left here which we simply peel off singly like that okay so those are the broad strokes so let's talk about how we can do this in a little bit more detail as i said the card is on the third position from the top. So this is what's happening. The first action, we're gonna do this in some steps, the first action is this. Hope you can see that. We're basically pivoting this top card and this here is our pivot point right here in the palm, in the crease here you could say. And we're using this left index finger to make sure that we're only pushing over one card, okay, we are with our thumb like this. Okay, so we're basically holding it in standard mechanics grip and then we use our thumb to peel off one card like so against our index finger over here. Okay, and now we're going to take the three cards that are left in a pinch grip, you could say, where a thumb on top, our two fingers underneath, like so, as we come away, take this away diagonally forward, just like that. So that's the first take. Now comes the second take of the second card, which is, as I said, maybe the, the most uh, challenging because we're going to take two cards from over here at the same time, leaving this underneath. What we're going to do is we're holding this in our pinch grip, as I said, and we're gonna take our thumb and do a double push off like this. And it's actually pretty easy. No matter how many card you have, the cards you have here, you're pushing over everything except from the bottom card, okay? It doesn't have to be completely square, but it's, it usually isn't that hard to make it almost completely square as you push over. And you do that at the same time as you come over or under with this card. And what you're gonna have to do here is you're going to, you're holding this in basically a mechanics grip, but you're gonna have to pinch it basically between your thumb and in index finger here so you can get away with these fingers as this comes underneath like that. I hope you can see that. So that comes underneath and we're going to catch it with our index finger and our middle finger of the right hand, just like so. I hope you can see that at the same time as we peel off this double card, okay? 
Now this doesn't have to be completely square here, but you have to make sure that you don't push this card so it protrudes on the right right hand side like this. That is not good. So it doesn't matter if it's a little bit unsquared here, but this matters. So make sure you don't do that. So now that we switch those cards comes the, the, the easiest thing, so to speak, and that is to simply peel off these two cards. And now you've done the Elmsley count. Let's go through that one more time and then I'm gonna give you some fine points to look at, okay? So again, this card starts third from top. What you're gonna do is you're holding this in ordinary mechanic grip. You move your index finger to this edge and you pivot the top card with your thumb against this crease here, just like that, okay? So you pivot that over. You come over, take these three cards in the pinch grip, just like that. As you come back with this card, you're gonna do a double pushover or how many cards there is. It can be a triple or a quadruple, doesn't matter. In this case, it's only two. You move these uh, fingers out of the way so you can receive that card underneath at the same time as you uh, push over this double card, okay? And we're hiding that face up ace right there. Again, doesn't have to be completely square here, but make sure not to protrude it on this side. Okay, and now we continue with the same rhythm, the third card and the, uh, the fourth card. And of course, now the ace is going to be on the bottom. Okay, so that's the basic mechanics of the Elmsley count. Let's get into some finer points. So. The Elmsley count, in my opinion, is, is very, I would say, very natural. If you want to show that you have four cards, well, the most fair way would maybe be to simply, you know, spread the cards like this. Some people like to count like this, for example. But I think this is a perfectly natural kind of movement. But make sure to kind of practice just doing this without any funny business, just to basically, you know, get used to this movement. Okay, so again, let's use this ace in this case. So here are some finer points, I guess. There's not too much to it, but it's important to remember not to, to do, for example, this. <laughs> you know, that is very exaggerated, of course. But you have to have a uniform kind of rhythm. So one, two, three, four, you know. Some people count the, the two first takes very quickly and then go slowly or the other way around they do this very slowly because it's the hard thing and now they're like ah oh, now i can relax and they go very quickly okay for the last two instead of course you want uniform rhythm so one two three four you might want to do this with a metronome or something like that to get the rhythm you know it's the same way when you're practicing for example the bottom deal you need a metronome or something to make sure that you get the rhythm down and try with different rhythms. It's not better if it's faster, it's not better if it's slower. Find what, what works for you, I'd say. But don't stress it. I mean, it can be fast, but it, you know, don't stress it. You want it to look relaxed, okay? So one, two, three, four, no stress, you know. And then you can show the card that can be a little bit unsquared, especially the last two, you know, and you can show the cards in a pretty open manner like so okay another thing i once again want to emphasize is when you come here again <clears throat> again it doesn't have to be completely square hopefully a little bit more square like this and you can adjust that by pulling that bottom card inwards a little bit but as i said before and i'm going to say it again don't pull it too much as it protrudes on this side because that's a telltale sign so don't do that but you can adjust it by, by pulling in with these fingers a little bit, okay? And the last thing again, remember to kind of, you're kind of pinching this card like this, more or less, I'd say. So you hold it with these two points, your index finger here and the base of, the, of your thumb or the crease of the hand here, you know, and you have your thumb here anyways because you're going to take that card. But holding it like that makes it a lot easier to get these fingers out of the way when you come here to return that card to, to over here, you know. So 
this kind of grip okay so okay guys so it's a quick one today this is as i said it's a very important technique and it's a staple in card magic especially in packet tricks so make sure to practice it and get it down because it's going to serve you very well and as i said we're going to use it in our 3k special when we reach 3000 subscribers we're gonna have a very cool trick with the elves account and also a giveaway so i hope you like this if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below and if nothing else please subscribe and and leave leave a thumbs up thank you so much for watching see you next time have a wonderful day bye bye